after the Civil War, I returned uh, to England uh, and I was uh, financed by the Garnet League or the Pennsylvania Equal Rights League. Uh, the British had, had uh, formed an alliance with the Confederacy in many cases. And so I was there in, in Europe, in England in particular, uh, to push the cause, particularly for the, the right, for the Republican cause or the radical Republicans, you could say, because the Confederacy was aligned with the, with the Democrats, you see, at that time. And so as I went to, to England, not just for the um, push the cause for the, for the Union, but also the, free, the Freedom Bureau. And the Freedom Bureau was an organization established largely by those in the Quaker uh, faith who wanted to return land uh, and, and businesses back to Negroes who may have lost them during the course of this uh, civil war or thereafter. And so when I went to England, I was able to uh, do, I would say, a great work on behalf of our people. Not only that, uh, I also was able to meet around 1867, that was in, uh, in Paris. It was an international festival and I had the opportunity to, to meet some of my comrades like Ira Aldrich and Alexander Dumas. Oh, by the way, Many would not know that Alexander Dumas has a lineage that is an African lineage. Uh, we, you probably have heard, I, I would presume, of the uh, Three Musketeers. Um, and I was glad to know that Alexander Dumas looked like me when we spoke. And so while I was there in Europe, um, this, this first time around, speaking on, on behalf of the Union cause and the Freedmen's Bureau, I was able to make some other alliances prior to my desire and intentions to fulfill a lifelong goal to be a lawyer or a barrister. 